Hayden does not like my lifestyle at all. Hayden's the one guy who knows when to put me in my place. When Hayden calls up, he'll get upset, he'll start crying. He tells me he doesn't want it for me. He tells me you're either gonna wind up dead or in prison. We weren't always on best terms. He got his life together before me. Then he just kind of realized I'm my own person. No matter what, that's my big brother and I love him and he loves me. I wanna be successful like Hayden. At the time of our father's death, I was 13, Dakota was nine. We both had to live with the reality that our father was dead. They showed me his body after he died. So I got a physical look at what that side of life does. My father shot himself in the face and showed me that that is absolutely no way I want my life to turn out. That fueled the fire that started the downward spiral for my brother. Pretty much everything that he's ever done to get a buck is illegal. Selling drugs, dealing with firearms. There's no honest work ethic in his life. I've seen on social media him actually post advertisements of what drugs he's selling, what he has, where to get it. He has absolutely no sense of consequence. One of my biggest anxieties with Dakota is how he's treated my grandmother and my grandfather's house. There are situations where random people are just walking in one, two, three, four in the morning looking for drugs. I live in a constant state of fear that one of these days my little brother is gonna piss off the wrong person and they're gonna take my grandparents' life to prove a point. That my grandmother enables his behavior because she's scared to actually do something about it. Now, I understand completely why she would be afraid. There's been situations in the past where he has laid his hands on her. After everything that I've been through and he's been through, I've made the decision to run away from a toxic lifestyle where he's making the decision to run towards it. I broke down on the phone crying with him, trying to tell him that if he does not stop, he will die. He will end up in a box because his brain will never recover from the things that he's doing. Every single time that I get off the phone with my brother, it feels like it's going to be the last time that I get to talk to him. Welcome. How's it going? Not great, actually. I'm trying to find somebody here that understands uh, what's going on, because frankly, I don't like Dakota's behavior, but I get it. I don't ask myself why he's doing what he's doing. I ask myself, why not? I mean, wh why wouldn't he? Uh, this kid's been jerked around, lied to, mm -hmm. violated, neglected, abused. I mean, every possible thing you could possibly do. And I'm not saying that to excuse his behavior. His behavior's inexcusable. Mm -hmm. But, you know, Dakota, I get it. I, I get why you're pissed off. I get why you don't trust people. I don't, if, if I'm the least judgmental person you'll ever meet, I can guarantee you, and if I had lived the, the life that you have lived, I would feel pissed off, alone, alienated. I, I would be withdrawn. And I think you mm -hmm. haven't been through exactly the same thing because you were four years older, but I think you get it. I think yeah. you get what he's yeah. been through. You don't get his choices, but you get what he's been through. Yeah, absolutely. I've lived the exact same life, right. you know, just on two different sides of the country. Yeah, we just want a, a, a different path because, you know, Dakota, yeah, I kind of went through and tried to get a grip on things and you've been to five rehabs, had four ODs, three arrests. Now you've got three guns. I'm being careful not to incriminate you here. Yeah. Hypothetically, you, you, you could be selling drugs. Uh, you're certainly using drugs. Where, where do you want this to go? Where is it headed? Mm -hmm. I just need some new direction. Because you're, you're nine months from being 18, so even at this point, if the court gets a hold of you, they're going to handle you as an adult. Is yes, there? They're going to try you as an adult. They're going to treat you as an adult. They're going to sentence you as an adult. So the choices you're making now are not for your grandmother, your step-grandfather, or your uncle, or your brother. They're for you. Just past years have been hell for everyone. And I brought that because I wanted to be stupid. And I wanted to make a lot of mistakes. But have you learned from them? Most definitely. What's the biggest thing you've learned? The way I'm acting just isn't going to lead me anywhere. No matter what, it's gonna want a dead or in prison. And like that's not even something like they just told me it's like that's a fact. I've seen it. Dead or in prison. That's how this always winds up. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.